Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica. Today, I'm really excited to share with you a therapeutic art activity for self-forgiveness. So if you're having trouble forgiving yourself for a past mistake that you've made in your life, then continue watching the video. I'm gonna share with you a simple art activity that will help you release the shame around it, forgive yourself, and help you move forward into your life. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me. Lastly, if you are interested in working with me, I do offer one-to-one -one online therapeutic art sessions where I can help you tap into your creativity and help you discover more of who you are. So if you are interested, I'll leave all the information down below. You can book a free 30-minute discovery call with me just to see if we are the right fit. So self-forgiveness is actually an act of love and it's acknowledging that you're whole and that you make mistakes and that you're human. We all make mistakes and when it comes to forgiving ourselves, I find that it's a lot harder to forgive ourselves than it is for other people. And I think that's because we're just harder on ourselves in general. I know for myself, I've made lots of mistakes in my life and the more I dwelled on the mistake, the more I couldn't move on in my life. So for example, I remember when I was in art therapy school and in order to graduate, we had to write a thesis and we were given X amount of time to do it. And for some reason, I just sabotaged myself and I couldn't finish the paper and I put it off for about two years. And then I got an email from the school one day and they were like, um, are we going to be expecting your paper soon? And when I got that email, when someone had called me out for my own mistake, I felt so much shame. And eventually I finished it. I was the last person in my class to finish it. And that mistake of not finishing it earlier really blocked me from pursuing art therapy. I It took me about five or six years after that to recover. It took me a lot of self work to forgive myself and to move forward and so if we don't forgive ourselves for the mistakes that we made it's really hard for us to live the life that we want to do the things that we want to do maybe you were in a relationship and you acted maybe not your greatest and so that relationship ended and you couldn't forgive yourself for the way that you acted and so how are you going to attract a new partner how are you going to get into a new relationship all these mistakes are a part of who we are and they shape our life story. And so I want you to know that it's okay to make mistakes. As I said earlier, it's an act of self-love. It is a daily practice to forgive ourselves because we are going to keep making mistakes as much self-work and self-development and studying that we do. We are going to make mistakes for the rest of our lives and it's up to us to forgive ourselves and move forward. So if you're having any trouble right now, kind of moving forward and forgiving yourself for things that you've done in the past, then this exercise is for you. It's gonna help you reflect on the mistakes that you've made and it's going to lovingly hold you and your mistakes so that you can easily let them go. You're going to need a piece of paper and any sort of coloring or drawing materials that you have on hand like felt markers, pencil crayons, watercolor paints, or acrylic paints. Before you begin, set up a quiet and safe space in your home for art making. Light a candle or incense, take a deep breath in and out and start to tune into your body. Place your hands on the paper and say out loud or silently in your heart, I forgive myself for making the same mistakes more than once. I forgive myself for thinking that my energy and time weren't valuable. I forgive myself so that I can have inner peace again. Place one hand over your heart and one hand over your belly. Breathe in self-forgiveness. Trace your hands on the paper using symbols, shapes, lines, and colors. Draw on the outside of the hands 
what you want to forgive yourself for. On the inside of the hands, draw what self-forgiveness looks like to you. Get into a comfortable seated position. Take a deep breath in and out. Tune in to the rhythm of your breath and the rising and the falling of your chest. Place one hand over your heart and one hand over your belly. Hold yourself here. Breathe it in. Forgive yourself here. Forgive yourself for all your past mistakes. And let your body know that it is safe to move on. Breathe that in. Trace your hands vertically on the paper as if you're holding your heart and belly. Think of all the past mistakes you've made and how you felt about yourself. Use those feelings and start to draw on the outside of the hands what it looks like. Use colors, lines, shapes, and movement to represent those feelings. Pour it all out on the paper, every mistake you've repeatedly made. Take the responsibility and move forward with grace. Now, on the inside of your hands, illustrate what self-forgiveness looks like to you. Use colors, lines, shapes, and images to repair the damage and restore the trust in yourself. Focus on renewing yourself and your mistakes. Breathe in the feeling of self-forgiveness and let it flow out onto the paper. So this is a piece that I end up creating and I love looking at it because it feels like I'm giving myself a hug, which I am, but it makes me realize how much more compassion I should have for myself. As I said, it's so much easier to forgive other people for mistakes and so when it comes to ourselves, we really have to take the ownership and take responsibility to forgive ourselves and so this process really helped me reflect that and i end up drawing flowers and grass because i realized that all those mistakes is really just about my own growth and it's really about giving me gifts to help me learn from my past mistakes and not to do it again and even if i do make mistakes again it's okay because life is ever evolving and it's a work in progress and we can persevere anything so if you do decide to do this, I would love to see your artwork. So you can always tag me on Instagram or send me an email. And I just want you to know that you do not have to be so hard on yourself. Maybe you want to forgive yourself for not showing up to your exercise routine, or maybe you stayed in a relationship too long, or maybe you didn't listen to your intuition. Whatever it is that you want to forgive yourself for, I just want you to know that it's okay that it's okay that we make mistakes and just to love yourself to send yourself compassion if the little version of you made that mistake would you be as mad no because we're all learning and we all have that inner child within us that we need to forgive as we get older maybe we forget that part of ourselves but it's important to reconnect and love ourselves so please give yourself a hug today and acknowledge that you have been through a lot. You are here for a reason and that you will learn from these mistakes and that you are loved. So please give yourself a hug today and tell yourself that I forgive you. I forgive you for everything that you have done and acknowledge, take responsibility and learn from your mistakes. And if you make another mistake, it's okay. It's a part of our life journey. So in the meantime, I'm sending you all love and creativity and I'll see you next week.